Hey, hey, hey! Today I'm back with another Dino Riders toy review. Today I'm talking about the Taurosaurus from the uh, Valorian Alliance. It's basically the equivalent of the Triceratops from the Rulon side. Um, but to be honest, I think I kind of like this figure a little more. Um, just because of the armor that comes with it. It's, it's just amazing. AMAZING! You will see, okay? I will show you. It's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, again, not my favorite piece, but definitely one of the, the, the more interesting ones from the Dino Riders toy series. Um, I kind of figured I'd, I'd make a little change in my reviews and that I would start with the dinosaur alone and then kind of gradually put on the pieces. Or, um, just because, uh, it adds a little susp some suspense and mystery to my videos. Um, tell me what you guys think. If you like it the other way, um, just tell me. Or if you like it better this way, um, I'd appreciate the feedback. Um, but anyhow, without wasting any more time, let's get to the review itself. So this is the Taurosaurus Dinosaur alone. Um, easily recognizable as such because of the frill that's more rectangular in shape than that of the Triceratops. And it's got the three horns, right? The two long brow horns and the one short uh, nose horn. Um, but a really nice figure, um, but actually uses the same body as the Triceratops, so Tycho was a little cheap on us there, but um, not too big of a worry because the mold itself is actually a really nice mold already, so you know, why mess with perfection, right Los Amigos? Um, so actually a really cool figure um, already. Um, it has the same walking mechanism as the Triceratops, you know, the head will kind of tilt uh, to left to right, so let me show you that right now, actually. So nothing new, but still pretty damn funky. Let me show you that one more time. Okay, so, um, let's see, is there anything else for the figure? I think that's pretty much all I want to show you for the dinosaur itself. Let me put on some of the armor, okay? This is going to be cool. Yo, check this out, baby! You look how cool this damn thing is. Look at this. Look how many, all these little um, armor panels here. Um, and it's got like these two pods in the back with like a grapple hook gun and, you know, and a winch in the back here. It's just crazy, man. Um, so let me um, show you all the little parts, okay? So, and what you see here on the sides, they can actually kind of go out and come back in. You can spread them outwards and then um, retract them. Um, these are actually called trippers. Did you say strippers? No, silly, not strippers. Trippers, man. So basically the idea was that I guess the Taurosaurus would run really fast and trip the T-Rex. I don't know. The idea is not that great, but the um, looks cool, right? You got like side horns. That's awesome, man. Um, and uh, let me show you the back here. So let me just change, move the light so you can see it a little better. There you go. So these are like pods where you actually put the characters. Um, so the characters are in the back here. They would actually stand over here. And as you can see, there's like a little peephole. Peephole. And that's that's kind of, they're fully protected from the front. And they man these, these side uh, pod guns here. And this actually goes up and down like that. So, you know, shoot up, down all around um, so a really cool idea uh, man some of the designers from Tycho I'm just so amazed by their ideas especially the T-Rex I know I keep bragging about the Rex and I know I haven't done the review yet but um, it'll come up okay just be patient those amigos um, so that's basically the armor pod um, moving on a little to the center here we have this grapple gun that you can it's, on, it's like on a ratchet joint and so it kind of clicks to several positions and at the end of it is a grapple hook. It doesn't actually shoot out. Okay, there's no like spring loaded mechanism or anything. Maybe I could modify and add one. Hey, that'd be awesome. Anyway, um if you, if you can if you can see that, there's actually a rope. See that there's like a, a small string on it and it's connected to this winch on the top. So it's actually kind of cool. You can it's a, it's a really long rope. Um so the grapple hook you can actually pull out and it can drag things back. Um, so a really, a really funky idea. It would have been kind of nice if Tycho added a spring-loaded mechanism um, on their figures. But you know what's funny is that 
when I look at all the Tycho figures, none of them actually shot any projectile uh, missiles or anything of that sort. Um, I don't know if it's like a safety issue for kids. Um, I don't know. Nowadays, it seems like every toy shoots something, you know, even when it's when they're not supposed to. They have something that shoots. Um, but nonetheless, still a pretty cool um, addition there. Um, on the back here, you have another armor panel that you can kind of move up and down. So, you know, if you're in, a, in offensive mode, you can maybe put it up and then when you're more in defensive you can put it down I don't know do as you like um, and on the other side again is another just another pod like that so you actually have two characters that ride this uh, this crazy beast as with more as with the uh, most um, Dino Rider figures that are a little bigger than the um, like the Deinonychus and all that you know so like the Triceratops Stegosaurus they always had two figures um, let me bring the light a bit closer again so let me show you the really cool part about this, okay? Something that um, I haven't seen recently in any new toys or anything that like that. So shame on you, all you new toy companies without good ideas like this. Uh, no, I'm sure they've actually they actually have toys that have that. I just don't uh, keep track of it. But um, let me show you the really cool part, okay, guys? You ready? You ready? Are you you ready? <laughs> so check this out. Bam! Look at that, man. It's got these two huge cannons right up here, and a little more um, side cannons right there. Um, and this was actually, I think, out of all the Dino Rider toys, this is the only one that has a light-up function. Okay? And it's these guys right here. Uh, let me turn off the light for a second, and I'll show you the uh, the lights on this, okay? See that? Pew, pew, pew! Crazy! That's nuts, man. It's it's such a cool. It's just such a cool toy, honestly. Um, so let me show you the the part that you actually press on. Um, it's a really simple mecha mechanism. If you think about it. oops, yeah, it's because I didn't actually put the strap on the dinosaur, so the armor kind of fell. Uh, let me just take off the armor. Actually, maybe that'll be simpler for me to show you. 